In today's video, I will teach you how to make your photos look cinematic using PhotoP. Let's get started. First, open PhotoP in your browser. Then click File and open and select the photo that you want to edit. An optional step is cropping to widescreen aspect ratio. To make your photo look more like a scene from a film, consider cropping it to a widescreen format such as 16 by 9 ratio. To do this, select the Crop tool from the toolbar or simply press C on your keyboard. And in the top menu, choose 16 by 9 or enter custom dimensions. Then adjust and crop your image as desired. Then press Enter to apply. Now we're going to adjust the contrast and exposure. First, go to Layer, the New Adjustment Layer, then Levels. In the Levels panel, move the black slider or the shadows and the white slider for highlights to enhance contrast, but be careful not to lose too much detail. Now adjust the gray slider or the midtones to lighten or darken the midrange tones as needed. Now we're going to add a cinematic color grade. To do this, go to Layer, New Adjustment Layer, then Color Lookup. In the Color Lookup drop-down, experiment with different LUT options for a classic cinematic look. A popular style for films are teal shadows and orange highlights. Now lower the opacity of the Color Lookup in the Layers panel if the effect is too intense. Now we're going to fine-tune the colors with a gradient map. To do this, go to Layer, New Adjustment Layer, then Gradient Map. Click on the Gradient Preview to open the Gradient Editor. Then use dark blue or teal on the shadows end and warm colors like orange or amber on the highlights end for a complementary cinematic effect. Then set the blending mode of the Gradient Map layer to Soft Light or Overlay for a softer and more blended effect. Then lower the opacity if the effect is too strong. Now we're going to add a subtle film grain. To do this, go to Filter, Noise, then Add Noise, and set the amount to around 5 to 10% with the Gaussian and Monochromatic selected. And when you're satisfied, go to File, then Export As, then choose your desired file format like JPEG or PNG to save the image. And you're done! If you find this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And if you want to see more tutorials, turn on the notification bell to get notified whenever we upload new videos.